आरबीआई ना गवर्नर शक्तिकांत दास कहू के एनबीएफसी ना बिजनेस साइकिल ने खराब समय माटे तैयार रह पाक छे जरे बैंकिंग अने एनबीएफसी ने रिस्क मैनेजमेंट पर फोकस करवानी पण सलाह आपी छे द इंडियन बैंकिंग सिस्टम कंटीन्यूज टू बी रेजिलिएंट बैक्ड बाय इंप्रूव्ड कैपिटल रेशियोस एसेट क्वालिटी एंड रोबस्ट अर्निंग्स ग्रोथ द फाइनेंशियल इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल कंपनीज दैट इज एनबीएफसी are also in line with that of the banking system as per the latest data available while banks and nbfcs are showing good performance now sustaining it requires concerted efforts in good times like these banks and nbfcs need to reflect and introspect as to where potential risks could possibly originate now is the time for them to further strengthen their risk management practices build additional buffers to face the situation if the business cycle turns adverse in the future due to some reason to rbi governor shaktikanta das no em pan kehvu chhe ke monetary policy ma leva ma avela paglao thi mongwari ochi thai shake chhe parantu satarkta rakhvani jarur chhe temne kahu ke food prices ane global factor haju par mongwari mate nu sankat chhe the monetary policy actions of the reserve bank over the last one and a half years consisting of prioritization of inflation ahead of growth and as you would recall we did it in may 2022 uh, or rather april 2022 we did it that is prioritization of inflation ahead of growth narrowing the liquidity adjustment facility corridor increasing the policy reported by 250 basis points cumulatively starting may 2022 till now draining out excess liquidity together with certain supply side measures undertaken by the government have facilitated significant softening of headline inflation to 4.9% in october 2023 the moderation in core inflation in particular is noteworthy there is also recent evidence of household inflation expectations becoming more anchored headline inflation however remains vulnerable to recurring and overlapping food price shocks coming from global factors and local adverse weather events the frequency and intensity of such shocks have increased in the recent period monetary policy in such a scenario needs to remain watchful and actively dis disinflationary while supporting growth 